everyone. Diane Mikowski, aka the massage mentor. And I am in Australia today. Apparently, I'm in. Am I? Okay. Where else in Australia am I today? Uh, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. So down down the bottom of of Oz. Uh, yeah. So we've got. Um, I think our population is around about four million. Um, it's a fairly reasonable size city down here. Lots of kangaroos up and down the streets, of course, and um, koalas crawling in living rooms and so on, you know, all the, all the thought, other bits and things. I thought the kangaroo was a friendly, cuddly beast, but in actuality, that might not be true. Uh, yeah, they've got a decent kick. They, they tend to use their tails and lean back and then just go boot. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, uh, we actually don't have kangaroos running down our city streets or anything like that. Like uh, I did summer camp back in 89 over there. And um, those, those types of lines really worked very well for my summer camp kids uh, as a leader. You know, I guess it's not far off the truth from um, my poor children are still traumatized because there's a place uh, I take them camping every year and um, it's in amongst the hills and there are cows and the cows are on the side of the hills. So when the kids were young, I said, oh yeah, these cows have got two legs that are longer than the other ones and they can only go in one direction. Uh, what a horrible parent. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I mean, they uh, like to laugh about it now. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So David Sheehan, I'm going to say it like Mr. Wozlowski. So yeah, I've heard a lot. You. I've heard about you uh, for years uh, because you do a soft tissue conference and I actually attended it, I think maybe two years back and it was, it was really quite marvelous. So I just want to commend you on that and say congratulations on creating oh, thank such a you. great event. And well, if you haven't um, been there, that, you should check it out. Using that very common term pivot, uh, you know, having to sort of look at new ways of, um, I guess, connecting and engaging with people, uh, you know, and globally, it was just, it's been a really lovely journey for the last two years. I teach the myofascial cupping technique um, here and normally travel to North America as well, two, three times a year to teach workshops in mainly in Canada and then into Europe. But um, that being said, uh, COVID sort of taken that away from me a little bit. I've started teaching here again in Australia, which is absolutely lovely to have face to face. Um, but the virtual conference, you know, it holds its place. It's, um, it's still a way of connecting and it, like uh, everyone is so familiar now with, you know, this sort of scenario where we've got our Zoom um, and we can use the technology and to advantage. And uh, yeah, it's been a real success the last two years and we'll, we'll run it again uh, November this year as well, and hopefully the um, the same presenters. Uh, it's really nice to have consistency, I think. So hopefully James Till, um, Rob Granter from Australia, and uh, Aubrey going from uh, from Ireland can all come and uh, contribute wow. again this year. Some of my faves. So oh yeah. So tell us a little bit about the the journey for you. Now, now cupping uh, has become on the forefront over the last few years. And I myself just took one of my first couple, first cupping classes after all this time. And I'm so disappointed that I had to have a career without it. Because one of the <laughs> things that I noticed was I can push in, but I can't pull out, you know? And it's yeah. just such a beautiful tool. So. Can you just tell us when you started and your journey into actually teaching and kind of some of the things that you've done? Sure, I was actually, it's interesting, last, last weekend I was teaching in a, another city called Adelaide, which is um, about 800 kilometers away. And um, a couple of students wanted me to go back over the past and how it all happened, the whole journey. And then I, I said, well, yeah, I started this workshop back in 2002 and I paused and just gone, crap, that's 20 years ago. <laughs> Um, and it's always, it's always been from more of a Western sort of background as opposed to Eastern. So it's always been about soft tissue, um, and getting, uh, change in soft tissue benefit. Um, so look, I've, yeah, since 2002, I've been teaching it. My background is actually, I, my bachelor's is in applied science, human movement. So uh, back in those good old days in Australia, we used to be called, uh, or with that qualification, exercise physiologist. So that was kind of my background. So we'd be doing testing on elite athletes and, uh, you know, working programs and conditioning programs in um, at uni. So that was kind of where it all started for me. 
I worked with um, an AFL football club, which is kind of a probably equivalent, although small scale, to NFL. Um, so it's sort of the top, the top league in, in Australia. And that's kind of where I had my first uh, exposure to cupping in the way that it wasn't just, you know, um, traditional cupping. Um, and we know that traditional cupping extends well beyond just sort of Chinese medicine. Like it's, it, it, you know, three and a half thousand years of um, cupping in other, other cultures as well. So, but again, a different style of cupping. Uh, so I use a lot of movement. Um, so product on and gliding and um, changing joint angles so that you get uh, tissue moving up and through the cups as well. And uh, my main focus at the moment is on scar tissue. So um, there's, a, there's a hospital down in Hobart, which is in another town in Melbourne, um, with a burns clinic. And they're very interested in us getting a clinical trial off the ground, working on hypertrophic scarring, which is the external scarring. Um, and we're getting amazing results uh, out of that clinic, the burns clinic, with patients who have been you know, motor accident victims, um, 30, 35% burns on their body, like full on burns and chronic burns as well. So getting movement. So the whole study will be more or less around looking at um, range of motion. So contracture being an issue um, and um, also pain. So looking at on a vast, how our treatments can reduce pain um, by putting less pressure obviously on nerve points. So it's all very exciting. Um, you know, we've started the process, it's a long process. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting some, hopefully some, some good results from it because working on scar tissue, and again, you mentioned about compression as opposed to tensional pressure. Um, we have an opportunity to um, create space uh, in tissue, which um, you know, is absolutely phenomenal. And it also means just from the day-to-day -day person who gets treated that they're able to get um, a positive change in a treatment very quickly. It happens all very quickly if it's gonna happen. So with the with the scar tissue, I love the I mean, like you said, cupping is almost new to me. I I don't I don't know how I didn't get on the whole cup. I'm really like I said, it's a little disappointing. Yeah. So the glide of the cups is something that I love the way that feels. And again, it's just something you can't get any other way. So with the, with scar tissue, how are you finding you approach that? Is it a little bit of movement? Is it a little bit of glide? Is it a little bit of how does that even look? And then what kind of results, what do the results kind of look like? Yeah, well, the results can be seen um, firstly on my website. Can I plug that? Because there's oh, a video yeah. up there of a, of a case study. Um, one of the guys, um, Stephen, out of the Burns Clinic at Royal Hobart Hospital. And we have some before and afters. And um, Selena, who is one of, well, will be one of my instructors coming up this year, um, has done some amazing work on, on him over the period of time. So the website is... Um, C-O-M-P as in complimentary, so C-O-M-P, H for health, S for seminar, so C-O-M-P-H-S dot com. Don't forget the dot A-U because we're in Australia. I'll, I'll post it too. All right, sweet. I'll, Fantastic. I'll put it above our so, top. So anyone who looks at that, that video will, will get an understanding because there's, um, there's footage of both Selena and I working on Stephen um, and the, the types of techniques that we use which I, t I teach in, in the workshops too. So there's a whole vary, there's a variance of different techniques that, um, that take in different intensity um, and their application is specific to different areas of the body. So Stephen is, um, was a Burns patient, uh, well, he's a Burns patient. Um, we've got other, other ladies who have had lumpectomies and mastectomy scarring in the axilla area. So um, we approach that differently as well, um, depending on which technique and intensity. Um, that is used but the whole idea is to um, sort of I guess attack the contracture that's involved in that type of scarring and again having tensional pressure rather than compressional pressure it's just you know it's phenomenal what we can do even for post-op scarring as well and so what kind of what's your favorite what's your favorite cup set what kind of cups do you use do you have those Ooh, available um, as well I've on your website of them all packaged up here um, yeah. look, to be honest we use and look you know, 20 years in the business, um, I've sort of graduated from uh, cheaper sets made, um, I shouldn't say where they were made, but anyway, the ones that I use now are made um, in Korea and they're a red a red box set. 
Um, and they, you know, they're not they're not at the cheap end, but they are definitely the best cups, particularly with Glide, um, because you you've got to make sure that your edges are nice and smooth, and they manufacture them really lovely um, from a you know an, an ability to glide through. So we use the red the red uh, box sets at the moment. Um, I'm also experimenting with some curved cups that we've got hold of as well, um, which seem to work for you know areas like the forearm where you can actually get the extensors, but um, having a curved cup, you can keep suction a little easier. Yeah. Awesome. And so you are, you're teaching this in uh, Canada and in your area. Is there anything else that you want to tell us about before we uh, say goodbye? Uh, not really. It's just that um, I'm hoping to be out uh, October, November again um, for the first time in, I think, two years. So that's going to be really fun. I love travel and I love meeting uh, people from both the States and Canada. So um, hopefully uh, off that website, we'll be having all the workshop dates put up there. So um, through associations as well, we, uh, we do some promotion and yeah, it'd be, loved, it'd be great to have people along. And if anyone's got any questions about the technique, uh, head to that website. There's a contact us and you're more than welcome to hit me up with some questions. I love the idea of the scar tissue work. I got to take a closer look at that myself. Dave, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to say hello and tell us a little bit about yourself. Dave. You're most welcome. And thanks again for, <laughs> for sharing uh, this, this amazing uh, little podcast that you're doing. And uh, a big shout out to James Oslaski, who I, I watched one of his old ones. And uh, he's just a legend, an absolute legend. You got a lot. It's, it's fairly hard not to love a little James, you know. Absolutely. So absolutely. Thank you. All right.